Waldo is trying to sell it to a group of speed demons at his friendly neighborhood drag strip. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, Waldo couldn't surmount the language barrier. No big pops. No druid's gonna put his offer out to lunch with a big load of strange nitro and a barn door. What do you say? What do you say? Then never mind, Humperdy. We'll just demonstrate the stuff. Oh, Fillmore! In a short time, Fillmore found himself strapped to the chassis of Waldo's wrecked truck, while Hoppity, using an eyedropper, carefully filled the tank with Wigglesworth's improved Indian Guide elixir. Little did our friends know that the elixir from sitting in the hot sun was going to explode in just a few seconds. Uncle Waldo, that jug of elixir is going to explode in a few seconds. How do you know, Hoppity? Gee, don't you ever listen to the narrator? Not if I can help it, no. We've got to get this jug away from all those people. Hey, quick! Give it to me, Hoppity. I'll drive it to Grizzly Gulch and drop it in. So, Billmore, clutching the fulminating jug to his warm, very front, revved up the engine and makes it break. It took off like a rocket. Unfortunately, it left Billmore behind. Run for your lives! That jug is a regular living bomb! No, oh, Grizzly Gulch, one quarter mile. Give me the jug, Billmore. I'll try to make it to the Gulch before it goes off. But he started hopping as fast as he could. Uh, hop! The jug full of explosive began to get very active. But finally, Hoppity reached Grizzly Gulch. He made one last tremendous spring. And halfway over the gulch, he dropped the jug. A half acre of real estate rose into the desert sky. But thanks to Hoppity's speed, everybody was safe, except for falling sand and frogs. Hoppity, are you all right? Sure, Uncle Waldo. I must have landed on something soft. Oh, what was it? Uh, it was me. Well, gentlemen, you can see the power that's in every jug of Wiggles, Wolf, the Lisa, and Hot Rod fuel. Now, who will be the first to step up to the... Hey, you guys, look at this. A new chorus record. Who made it? The frog here. He just hopped the quarter mile in seven seconds flat. Wow, we! Now that's what I call dragging. But boys, my elixir, uh, your cars. Hey, Daddy. Hey, frog. How'd you get that much speed pump? Well, I just. Now, gentlemen, I'm sure Mr. Hooper will be happy to give all of you speed hopping instruction. Just as soon as you sign up here for the full course. Now, who's first? And so began one of Waldo's most lucrative enterprises. A brand new sport as well. Hop rotting. No, no, keep the meat together and my elbow's bent. Hey, Hoppity, you got to get out of the way. Won the National Drag Racing Championship, but the International Hopscotch Games as well. As a result, our hero was up to there in fame and trophies. It was nothing any queen living frog couldn't do. Only in America. And so, Philmore, we come to the conclusion of our story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know what this is? You what? I'll whisper. <laughs> no, Philmore! What did you say, Philmore? I said it is. No, Fillmore! Uh, gee, I didn't think it was so bad. Uh, uh, what, what did you say, Fillmore? Uh, I said, it's a happy ending. No, Fillmore. Mm -mm. In spite of that, be with us next time for the further adventures of Hoppity Hooper. <laughs>